we learn in quarter two that everything we see around us makes up our environment. All these things that we find in our surroundings and all the natural phenomena that we observe are not due to some random luck or accident. What makes up our environment is very much related to where our country is on the globe. Or, to say it in a different way, the characteristics of our environment is determined by the location of the Philippines and the planet. Before we learn about the characteristics of our environment, let us first talk about the location of the Philippines. Where is the Philippines? The Philippines is on Earth, of course, but where exactly is it located? To answer these questions, let us learn first how to locate places using Earth's imaginary lines, namely longitude, latitude, and the others. Before we begin, let us study Earth's imaginary lines. Do you know this? This is a replica of Earth known as globe. You may also use the world map to learn them. As we can see here, Earth is tilted on its axis at 23.5 degrees. This is the reason why we experience various seasons. First, this is the Northern Hemisphere, a part of the world between the North Pole and the Equator. On the other hand, this part of the world between the South Pole and the Equator is known as the Southern Hemisphere. Using this globe, let us describe latitude, longitude, equator, and primary region. Latitudes are imaginary horizontal lines running from east to west on the Earth's surface. The starting point for latitude is the equator. Thus, equator is latitude 0 degree. At the North Pole, the latitude is 90 degrees. At the South Pole, the latitude is 90 degrees south. Longitudes are imaginary vertical lines running from the North Pole to the South Pole. The starting point for longitude is the primary region. The primary region is at longitude 0 degree. To the right of the primary region, the longitude is written this way. 15 degrees east, 30 degrees east, and so on. To the left of the primary region, the longitude is written as 15 degrees west, 30 degrees west, and so on. The location of a place may be described by using latitude and longitude. To the nearest degree, what is the latitude and longitude of Manila? Compared to the size of the world, Manila is just a tiny spot, and its location may be described using a pair of latitude and longitude. Thus, Manila is located at approximately 14 degrees north latitude, 121 degrees east longitude. In general, Philippines is approximately located at 13 degrees north latitude and 122 degrees east longitude. For learning task 1, let us locate these places on Earth using longitude and latitude. Study this map and answer the questions being asked before. Number 1. In which imaginary line number 14 is exactly located? Number 2. In which two hemispheres letter M is located? Number 3. In which two hemispheres number 4 is located? Number 4. Which letter is located at 40 degrees north, 125 degrees west? And number 5. What are the approximate coordinates of number 2? Now we know how to describe the location of a certain place using latitude and longitude. The lines of latitude are also known as parallels of latitude. That is because the lines of latitude are parallel to the equator and to each other. Five lines of latitude have special names. They are listed in the table below. The latitude values have been rounded off to the nearest half degree. Zero degree latitude is the equator. 23.5 degrees latitude is the Tropic of Cancer. 23.5 degrees south is the Tropic of Capricorn. 66.5 degrees north is the Arctic Circle. And 66.5 degrees south is the Antarctic Circle. To sum up, the closer the latitude is to the equator, the warmer the climate. The closer it is to the poles, the colder. Thus, there is a relationship between the latitude of a place and the climate it experiences. Using latitude and longitude is not the only way that you can describe the location of a certain area. Another way is by identifying the land masses and bodies of water that are found in that area. So, what are the land masses and bodies of water that surround the Philippines? Using this globe or a world map, 
identify the land masses and bodies of water that surround the Philippines, then answer the questions that follow. Which bodies of water are found to the west and to the east of the Philippines? How about the large land masses at the north and south of the country? We can see here that the three prominent bodies of water surrounding the archipelago are the following. Pacific Ocean on the east, the South China Sea on the west, and the Celebes Sea on the south. On the other hand, the large land masses that surround the country are as follows. Indonesian Archipelago on the south, China and Taiwan at the north and northwest parts, and Vietnam, Malaysia, Thailand, and Cambodia at the west. The imaginary lines used to locate a place in the world are as follows. Coordinate system is an arrangement of reference lines or imaginary lines on the globe. Latitudes are imaginary horizontal lines running from east to west on the Earth's surface. Longitudes are imaginary vertical lines running from the North Pole to the South Pole. Equator is an imaginary line dividing the Earth's surface into northern and southern hemispheres. And Prime Meridian is an imaginary line dividing the Earth's surface into eastern and western hemispheres. Philippines is located at approximately 13 degrees north latitude and 122 degrees east longitude. It is surrounded with the Pacific Ocean on the east, the South China Sea on the west and north, and the Celebes Sea on the south. On the other hand, the large land masses that surround the country are as follows. Indonesian archipelago on the south, China and Taiwan in the north and north northwest parts, and Vietnam, Malaysia, Thailand, and Cambodia in the west. For learning task 2, use the given latitude and longitude to locate the places. Label the 10 places in the map below. Study the image of the globe below, then identify the parts that are labeled in the image. Complete each statement about imaginary lines, underline the correct answer. Number 1. Latitude or longitude is an imaginary line that runs through the Earth's surface from west to east. Number 2. Equator is the longest parallel that divides the Earth into two hemispheres, western and eastern, or northern and southern. Number 3. All latitudes are parallel or perpendicular to the equator. Number 4. Latitudes are measured in meters or degrees. 5. As we move away from the equator towards the poles, the length of the latitude increases or decreases. 6. Longitudes are used to locate places in north and south or west and east. 7. A or an coordinate system or equator is a network of intersecting latitudes and longitudes. Number 8. Primary region or equator serves as a reference point for measuring the distance east or west located at 0 degree. Number 9. North Pole and South Pole both measured 90 degree or 0 degree. And number 10, all longitudes are parallel or perpendicular to the equator. Please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Math Cycle, like the videos, and hit the bell button for updates. I hope you learned in today's lesson. On the next episode, we will recognize the different natural resources of Earth and describe how we can conserve these natural resources. This is Sir Michael Leonard Lubiano, your science teacher. See you all next time.